I'm David Mendel with your September Chairman's Update. And joining us as she does each month for these reports, our HR Chair of the Board, Kenya Burrell Van Warmer. Welcome, Kenya. Thank you. So we're going to start on a serious note. Uh, we've had a lot of cases of wire fraud affecting uh, a number of our members and, of course, their clients. And this is typically, uh, these are situations that seem to involve title companies. I mean, wire fraud is nothing new. No. But what are we seeing in this latest round of, of apparent wire fraud cases? I think we're just seeing more sophistication. Um, and when I say sophistication, it's either copying emails that are similar to those of maybe an agent or those of a title company. Um, sometimes clients are contacted and asked to send money to a different location than the title company. I think. The real issue right now is the level of sophistication that is there with attempting to get those funds from, from buyers or sellers. So it's just really making sure that if you have a question, call the title company directly. Always pick up the phone and ask about wiring instructions. So I think it's really on us to make sure that we take the precautions necessary to protect our clients and educate our clients about the fraud, the rampant fraud that's out there. It's true. It seems like we're so reliant on technology that we forget to use the most basic form of communication, that's which is true. the verbal communication, if not in person, over the phone, verify, know, you know whether that, in fact, that request to wire money is legitimate and then confirm that where it's going is legitimate as well because That's right. that money could be siphoned out of that you know that the, the proper flow and end up in the hands of somebody who's not deserving of it and then right. both parties are out and unfortunately we've heard those cases there have been some good stories where things have been caught before right. anything detrimental could happen but just being super hyper aware of what's going on as it relates to any types of fund activity so another uh, thing to talk about is we've got Engage, our huge real estate industry conference that HAR proudly produces. Uh, it's coming up next month. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. HAR Engage is probably one of the best ways to get industry updates and understand what's going on, not only in Houston, but on the national front. So I really do credit our team for bringing in national speakers. It's a day worth spending with HAR. That event has grown exponentially since it was first introduced and uh, it's funny because I'll talk to people because I usually staff the event and just talking to people there, they're loving it. They just love the information, Absolutely. they love the engagement, they love the opportunity to network. And so uh, it's no surprise that that thing just gets a you know, greater attendance year after year. Absolutely. Uh, what else do we know about? Well, let's see, if you're interested in leadership with the association, be on the lookout for 2019 advisory committees. Um, so you'll have your opportunity to sign up for a number of committees that are very important to the association and pick something that you have an interest in, whether it's politics or technology or information systems. We have a committee and we'd love to have you involved. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. Appreciate your uh, input. And uh, we'll see you all again next month for our next Chairman's Update. From all of us here at HR TV, thank you for watching.